Hey guys, so today we're gonna try a, a camera and I've been filming all my my videos with, you know, just basically little iPhones. But today I got a vlogging camera from um, Thinkware. It's a Snap G, it's got a gimbal on it. So let's give it a shot. So I'm pretty excited to open up this Snap G camera and give it a shot. I, I, I've been using my iPhone for pretty much everything for all my vlogs and all my videos and things like that. So I'm really excited about trying a real, a real camera for the most part. I mean, your iPhone is a real camera, but I mean, this has got this gyro stabilizer thing, which... I think it's going to work great. Uh, I was originally looking for a, a car mounted uh, car camera to do some uh, vlogging of my trips, but uh, this is even better when I saw this. So I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm really going to like this. So let's see what it comes with. You know, here's the camera itself, and I think it's pretty cool. It's got this screen here, two inch screen, and this gyro thing, which is pretty cool. You know, you can see it moving around. Let's see what else comes in the box. The packaging is really nice. It's, it's, this box almost looks like a fabric -y thing. Right. First, so it uses USB-C cables for recharging. Looks like this is a a case, protector case, and the, a handle if you want to put a handle on it. Okay, so here is, um, these are the, the filters things for your plugs to reduce the, the noise associated with the, with the power ports and things like that. So this tries to reduce that noise. Okay, directions, you always need directions and a battery. So um, you could actually get replacement batteries, but uh, the pack that I have is only one battery, but there, there's a two pack. Let's see if it, if the battery comes charged or not. All right. That's cool. Looks like we'll need to set it up. And I think this is a touch screen. Let's uh, read the directions to see how to set this up. And let's give it a shot. We'll see what else there is. Okay, looks like this is the USB port and here's a slot for a micro SD card and that's what I'm going to be using. That's one thing I really hate about this phone that I'm using right now to record this part is that uh, transferring data from the PC uh, to the, from the phone to the PC kind of sucks. If you guys ever did it, you, you know, it, it really sucks. Let's take off this protective film. All right. So you can set the date and things like that. Okay, so you see it is a touch screen. So 2023. Okay, what month is it? It is June. It's June 16th. All right, so it's looking at my my monitor, but see the battery's low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge this up and then we're gonna come back and take a look at it after we charge up the battery. All right, so the light turned off, so I assume that means it's fully charged. So let's power it up and take a look at it. All right. So you see it, let me pull it up, let me look, here's my screen, and that's what you're seeing there. Nothing interesting there, but we'll, we'll test it out in the field. But uh, you can see, as you're turning this, it wants to stay 
still. It wants to stay locked on the 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 monitors. Okay, so I have no SD card. I'm gonna have to put in an SD card before I try it out, of course. But anyway, so you put in the micro SD there. Looks like that's the the microphone right there. But there's also an external microphone input, which I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a wireless mic. And here's um, a little threaded thing for your tripod. And let me just take a look at that. Oops. You don't want to put any pressure on this this thing right there if if you could uh, avoid it. Pretty cool. Okay, so screw it onto a tripod. That'll work too. Let's see what else before we get started. Okay, so there's a trigger right here, and this trigger is also, let's see, you, oh, all right, there. If you push it three times, it turns around. That's me. Push it three times. So that that's handy when you're um, vlogging yourself. If you're going down a path or something like that, you could use that feature. Let's see. What else is there? Okay, so there's a follow mode where it'll follow your face. Pan. Okay, so it's all right. Okay, so when you're trying to just do a little bit of adjustment, a little up, little down, you could use this joystick. All right, that's a lot better than moving the whole camera. So. Think of this as like a, a mini camcorder that you used to have back in the days. You know, with your camera, you had to kind of keep your arm steady and move it around. But this, you don't have to be that steady. And your picture, you can see the picture is pretty stable, even though I'm going up and down. So let me get, let's put in an SD card. In the next recording, you'll see I'll be using this camera instead of the camera right behind us. All right, we're giving this camera a test. We're going to walk through the neighborhood. As I turn, you see how slowly the camera turns? It's not a really quick pan, uh, so that's great. You know, it's you know, like a professional pan. It's not like a real fast thing. You see it's still catching up. I'll turn and I'll stop, and it's still catch up. Let's try the, the selfie mode. So I push the button three times, and there it is, it turns back towards me, and then you see the slow pan. Alright, see, so it takes a while for it to pan over so it doesn't uh, break your neck while you're watching or anything like that. Let's go back. We'll check out the trail. Yeah, and definitely, as you're walking, I can see that the camera is very stable. Let's turn around. Walk this way. This is really cool. I, I really like this camera with this gimli, gimbal, and this gimbal. I've been calling it a, a gyro thing, but I think it's called a gimbal. But anyways, I think that's working great. So let's test it uh, in my van. Hey guys, so I have this camera set up on the tripod and I also have it on this facial recognition mode. So you know, you guys know I do my camp build in my camper van and I have it on facial recognition so it should kind of follow me where I go if I'm pointing things out and moving over here. So before I would have to jump off and move the camera to the next location but if this is going to follow me, I'm not going to need a camper van anymore. So that's pretty good. All right, so let's test the, the microphone. And as I walk around the car, I'm going to keep talking to see how well the microphone picks up my voice. I'm gonna go around the front. Over here, I'm at the front of the car, side of the car, coming around. Let's see how well the microphone picks me up while I was walking around the car. A little microphone test. Okay, next up, I want to test this camera in drive mode with the vibration of the car bouncing around and things like that to see how well it works and how stable I am when I'm talking. But not just that, 
we need to see how stable the road is while I'm driving. And right now I'm just holding it with my hands. Uh, I'm, I'm going to mount it up onto something, of course. But this is me panning across the screen. And you can see it's a slow pan. It's not going real fast. So that's, that's going to provide for a good, even transition. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so for our final comparison on the right, I have my iPhone on the left. It's the Snap G camera. And this is a look at the difference between the two. For the most part, I mean, I'm happy with the iPhone picture. Uh, I just want something a little bit more versatile in a, in a filming camera. So overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with this little camera. I, I think it's pretty cool. I looked at the video and, and definitely the, this is clearer than my iPhone 13 mini. Uh, the, the microphone works great. It, it works better than the, my, my iPhone mini too. I know when I walk away, it, it gets pretty weak on the iPhone, but this picked up my voice pretty well. So I, I think I'm gonna be using this more often on my van builds and my vlogs and things like that. So. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in this. This is this is the Snap G vlogging camera uh, with the gimbal on it. So I'll leave a link.